when we make decisions, whether it's wine or investing, and we make them from scratch in the heat of the moment, we're letting our emotions in. And we are responding to all sorts of things in the environment that are not in fact relevant to whether this is a good investment or not. And so what we want to do is almost take our emotional self out of the decision-making process. Um, and particularly if markets are volatile and turbulent, right? You, what you think, I've got to make a decision now. You in that emotionally charged situation is the worst possible decision-maker you can be. So what you want to do for yourself is uh, in times when you have the space, you have the, I don't know, the bandwidth cognitively and emotionally, you start to write for yourself a set of rules that you can use to govern your investing. So that when the moment of stress comes, when the moment of crisis comes, you don't have to think, what am I going to do from scratch? You go to the rules that you've already established ahead of time that says, in times of stress, this is how I want to behave. This is the process I want to follow. And those rules initially can be very vague, but if you do it year after year, what you should be doing as an investor is going, how can I incrementally sharpen up my set of rules that I follow every single time I make a decision? And I'll just give one example of those rules. So every decision, if you want it to be a good decision, needs a pause point. It needs a, if, if you make a decision in your head, in your gut, and you immediately hit return, you know, whatever, however your trade goes live, right? I hit return. You have not given yourself any space for reflection. So every single decision to be, to improve the quality of your decisions, very simple thing, build a pause point in. And that may be something as simple as I decide what I want to do. I make sure that I get up, I make myself a cup of coffee and I sit down. And then if I still want to push return, I can push return. 